Hey everyone, so today we are looking at the big ideas for mo mosaic plots. And uh, we're going to start off with categorical variables versus quantitative variables. So the first thing we want to say is that categorical variables take on values that are names or labels. That's one of the big things about uh, categorical variables. They name things or they label things. Now, what about quantitative variables? Well, quantitative variables are numerical and can be counted or measured. So they're numerical and they can be counted or they can be measured. Now, I'm gonna take this a step further and I'm gonna make note of the fact that if we have a quantitative variable and it can be counted, we call that a discrete random variable. So I'm going to try to highlight that again with a different color. Here we go. Uh, we would call that discrete. If it's measured, we call that a continuous quantita quantitative variable. And we'll get into that a little bit more uh, as we move forward. But categorical variables take on values that give us names or labels. Quantitative variables are numerical and can be counted or measured. All right, let's move over to mosaic plots. Now, this is a mosaic plot right here. And in this mosaic plot, we are breaking things down by, looks like, countries. And the bars, it looks like a segmented bar graph, but the bars are proportionally sized to the number, um, in this case, of people in America or people in Europe or people in, this one's kind of hard for me to read. It looks like maybe Japanese culture, um, but it's super small there. Um, but what can we say about mosaic plots? Well, a mosaic plot is a modified segmented bar graph where the width of the bars are proportional to the size of the group. Um, just like we have down here. So that's all we really have to say for the big ideas for our lesson on mosaic plots. Hopefully this helps and hopefully you have a great day.